Because I see it. You see it? That's right. Watch this. What day do we should, should we worship God? Every day. No, but what day did God tell us to worship? Christmas, December 25th. Oh, what day? Hey, Shalom, sis. How you doing? Hi. How are we're you? identifying that we are the children of God. But everybody say we're a child of God, right? You hear that all the time, right? But everybody not a child of God. Let me let you know. God's children, God punishes his children for disobedience. He said, I'm going to curse my children for breaking my laws. And he said, the curse is going to be a sign for you to know that you are the real children of God. Read that again from the top. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. But not following God's commandments and laws, he said you will serve your enemies. Let's see how he said we will serve our enemies and see if it applies to you. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. He said we will serve them in hunger. Do we control the food supply for the food we eat? We have to go to our enemies for that, right? Right. Read. And in thirst. Who controls our water system? Right. He said our enemies, right? The white man controls that. Would that, would that make you my enemy? He controls the food supply. Would that make you my enemy? Right. Read. And in nakedness. The very clothes on your back. They own all the textile for the, for the clothing on our backs. Even though we might brand our own clothes, we don't own the textile to make them. Read. And in want of all things. He said the want of all things. Now, South Carolina State is a historical black college, right? Who started it? Was it the white man? Yes. Hey, well, we got to go to our enemies for education. We got to go to them for toothpaste, toilet paper, for a driver's license, for a house, for a home. You got to go to them for the want of all things. Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he hath destroyed thee. Did we not have yokes of iron around our necks? Did that not happen to our people? Did that happen? You know anybody else that happened to? That happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. We are the Israelites. Right. This Bible identifies us as the children of God. I, right, this historical black college, guess what? They have history classes, right? Guess where you can get the greatest history lesson on earth? Right here in the Holy Bible. That's your history book. This is your origins. It's telling you where your blood line came from, from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, from the 12 tribes, that the 12 sons that Jacob had. If you see yourself on this sign, right here, if you follow under African American, guess what that makes you? From the tribe of Judah. Yes, you understand? You are from the tribe of Judah. Are you a so-called African American? You would come from the tribe of Judah. Right. Guess who else come from the tribe of Judah? The greatest man that ever walked the earth. Who's the greatest man that ever walked the earth? That's right. You say Jesus, who you say? Right. I agree 100 percent But let's find out if the Bible agrees with what I'm saying. Because we could be lying. Bring it out. See the one thing we don't do, we don't sit there and give you a sermon. We're going to go in the Bible and prove all things because God said prove all things. And you know how you prove it? With the word of God. Read. 
Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Jesus Christ? He said sprang out of Judah. He wasn't born immaculate. He had a father and a mother. That's right. His daddy Joseph come from the bloodline of Judah. Right. So the greatest man that ever walked the earth, you come from that bloodline. You come from royalty. King David comes from Judah. King right. Solomon comes from Judah. Judah is the head tribe. Why do you think we got so much swag on this earth? Why do you think all the nations want to do what we do? Bring it up. We sag, they want to sag. Hey, my brother wears his head backwards, guess what they started doing? Wearing their head backwards. Whatever we do, the whole earth copies it because we come from the bloodline of Judah. That's right. Judah is worthy to be praised. We come from that bloodline. But guess what God said? He said we was under the curses. Now, he gonna, I'm going to give you a deep curse right now because our people don't want to acknowledge what God's word is. We don't want to acknowledge the fact because we don't want to acknowledge that we've been lied to, bamboozled, and hoodwinked. Watch this. Give me verse 64. Listen to this curse. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. He said, the Lord shall scatter us from one end of the earth, even to the other. And as you can see on this map, this is the slave trade. We were scattered throughout this whole earth in slavery, right? Y'all know about slavery, right? Y'all know we came over on slave ships. That's in the Bible. He said we'll be scattered from one end of the earth, right, to the other end of the earth. And watch what you say what happened once you got to those lands. Bring it out. And there thou shalt serve other gods. He said we'll do what? Serve other gods. He said we will serve other gods. Right. Now I'm going to ask you one simple question. Do you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? You a deacon? Good, I'm glad you're right here. Don't go nowhere, deacon. What's your last name? Deacon Hampton. I'm glad you're right here. Deacon Hampton, do you believe in the word of God? The, hey, the, uh, every single word? Some of it. Ah, you don't believe in the Bible then. Right. What part you don't believe in? Because if you don't believe the whole Bible, you don't believe in the Bible. Right. Now, wait a You're a deacon. You're a deacon. Do you not understand that God, watch this. God said we will serve other gods. And guess what? If he said that and the deacon don't believe it, Deacon must serve the other God. That's, that's the problem with the church. That's they right. not teaching our people. Right. You understand that? Do you believe that he said we'll serve other gods? Do you believe that? You, do you believe that? Do you believe that? He said no. Do you believe that, sis? I do, because I see it. You see it? Right. Watch this. What day do we should, should we worship God? Every day. No, but what day did God tell us to worship? Christmas, December 25th. Oh, good God. Watch this. Give me, give me Exodus 20. No. No. Watch this. Everything that you ever learned, sis, came from your slave master, right? Right. Remember, he said, in slavery, when I scatter you through the other lands, you will serve other gods. I told, as I told you, God is only the God of the children of Israel. That's right. You understand? If he sold you to the other nations in slavery, why would they be serving the God of this Bible? They'll be serving other gods. Perfect example is like the Chinese. Who they worship? Y'all know anybody know? We're in a place of higher education. We don't know what the Chinese worship. Buddha. Oh Buddha, yeah. Yes, right. Buddha. Who do the Arabs worship? Allah, right? Are uh, uh, those the same God that's in the Bible? No. So guess what? The white man got gods too. He just got many of them. Only thing different is he's holding up the Bible, but he's not reading from it. That's he's right. not teaching from it. So you think you're actually worshiping the God of this Bible, but you're not because we refuse to read. Think about this right here. We're in a place of learning. They're supposed to be the brightest of the bright, but yet they don't know who they are, yet they don't know how to actually worship God. That is the problem with our people. He said, we should serve other gods. Watch this. Listen to this last part. Maybe in a ring in your head, who's serving the other gods. Watch this. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood. Even wood? 
and stone. And stone. Wood and stone is symbolic to the two largest religions on earth. What are the two largest religions on earth? Hey, brother, you know? What's your name, brother? JJ. JJ? JJ, what's the two largest religions on earth? The Muslims and the Christians. The Muslims oh, and the Christians. Man, that's what right. do the, the wood represents what? He said this, they should worship wood and stone. Wood represents what? What did Christ, what did they uh, kill Christ on? The cross. A cross. That cross was what? Made out of wood. Tree. Yeah. That's your wood. What do the Muslims worship? What do they pray to? Allah. Yes, but in Mecca, they make that pilgrimage. Oh, yeah, to and, the... And they, and, and they go, and you know what they're praying to? A rock. A cobblestone. Right. You understand? The two largest religions on earth is Christianity and Islam. The two biggest slave trades on this earth was the sub-Saharan slave trade by the Arabs and Muslims right. and the transatlantic slave trade by your so-called Christians. And he said, well, there we should serve other gods, wood and stone. Give me Exodus 28. So let's see if we are actually serving the God of this Bible or serving a false god. Right? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. He said, remember the Sabbath day. Why do you think God said remember? Because in slavery, we'll forget. Can we read in slavery? Can they stop us from reading for over 200 years? So if for 200 years you couldn't actually read how to worship God, then you had to get that information from who? The same people that did this to you. Put them shackles on your neck. That raped your mothers. That raped your fathers. That raped your sons. That put Christ on the cross. Wasn't it the Romans that put Christ on the cross? So do you think that now, after they done enslaved the children of God, that, that they done uh, crucified the Son of God, that they can then turn around and teach you about God? Doesn't make sense, do it? But we never question those things. Hey, brother, have you ever quit questioned uh, the things that were taught in church? Yes, and I still question. And, and do you still go? That's the magic question, do you still go? Right. Watch this, he said, watch this, says, I want you to hear this now before you break out of here. Hey, our people don't like to hear the word of God. That's why we're worshiping other gods. Let this sink in your head. Read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. He said to keep it holy. You're supposed to keep this day separate from all other days. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. The what day? The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He said the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What day is the seventh day? Right. Well, when they going to church? So they ain't doing what? Keeping the Sabbath, right? Right. But the church, the pastors say they worshiping God. Ain't that what the pastors say? Ain't they say they're serving God? Is that contrary to what God said in the Bible? He said there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. So what are they worshiping? Are, are they worshiping the God in the land? I mean, the Bible? Are you, I hey, sis, so let me ask you, what you got to do now? That you find out you're not actually worshiping God. What am I going to do? What you supposed to I'm do? I'm going to go back and research. Give me Acts 3 19. I'm going to show you what God, God wants you to do. I want you to, I want you to see what God told our people to do. This, this ain't really hard. It's very simple. If your child misbehaved, right, would you correct them? Guess what? The slavery is meant to correct us. That's right. Watch this. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent. Do what? Repent. You know what it means to repent? What it mean? It means to say, I'm sorry, do better. To turn away from your sin. Right. Repent, to turn away from it. So if you was actually keeping church on Sunday, should you continue? Because you said research. You, if you already know that the seventh day is Saturday, it ain't nothing to research. Because who gave you the command? Watch this. Give me Ezekiel 22 and 26. Remember, he said you will serve other gods. Well, the other gods said, come on Sunday. If God said the seventh day of the week, that's the last day, right? Will Satan do the opposite of God? 
which would be the first day, right? Yeah. What's the first day of the week? Does it sink in yet? Oh, I got it. I hear you. Loud right. and clear. But you said what difference does it make? Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Because that's the pastor's say. I worship God every day. But listen to what God say about your pastor. The priests have violated my law. He said the priests have violated my law. If you are a leader of the people and you break God's law, is the judgment going to be worse for you? Because you misled them, right? You led the flock astray. He said the priests have violated my law. Watch this. And have profaned my holy things. They profane God's holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. He said they put no difference between holy and profane. Watch this, sis. I'm going to show you why keeping God's word makes a difference. Watch this. Hey, who is this right here? Jesus. Who is it? Jesus. You see that? Watch this. Mom, give me your children. This one is. All right. Your son said that this is Jesus. Who is this little man? He said it's Jesus too, right? So both of them said this is Jesus. Watch this. Who is this? He said that somebody that looks like him is Satan, sis. Watch this. I got to give him the description of what Jesus looked like. Mom, you ain't never told him, have you? What did you tell him Jesus looked like, Mom? Uh, hair like he is basically right. it wasn't necessarily so who word did he take yours or he took the enemy he took the enemy right little man I'm going to teach you what Christ looked like that's right read that revelation chapter 1 verse 14 uh -huh. read his head and his hairs were white like wool he said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white in color is his hair white is his hair white? Is it woolly? Yes. yes. Your hair woolly too, right? <laughs> yes. So Christ got hair like yours, right? Yep. Read. As white as snow. He said it was white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes were red. Read. And his feet. His feet. Would his feet be the same color as the rest of his body? No. Let's see if your feet don't look like the same color as the rest of your body. They do. Okay. He said his feet. So let's see if his feet look like pale white or look like this. And his feet like unto fine brass. It said his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? I have no idea. What's a penny? Brown. He said his feet were brown. Let's see how. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.